Today we're going to be looking at how we can use card and member space to create a private podcast or a members only podcast. So to start in this video, we're just going to take a look at what I've already created in card and the look and feel and how we are going to try and add that members only protection to this site. So our simple card site, the no code dev is the name of our podcast. If I click home, that's where we are right now. I can also click the about section and I've just left in the default text here, but you could give a quick about, about your podcast or about yourself as the host, as well as the contact section where we can include our social links and a brief description of how to contact us. If I click back to home and click listen now, then we'll see that we have links to our episodes, episode one, two, and three. And we haven't uploaded any episodes yet, but this is the idea of what we would like our site to do. So only our members, our no code dev podcast, 1000 true fans will be able to access these episodes from this screen. So to start, this is a simple template that I have edited from card. So if we navigate back to our card dashboard, and we can see here that you can just click new site. And if we scroll through the starting point options here, almost all the way down to the bottom, we can see the template that I've started with. So it's this one here. So we just select that template and then we were able to edit it as needed, which is what we've done already. So I'm gonna click into my site. And as we can see here, this is our template and we've already made a couple of edits. So I've added the name of the podcast and a description, a member only podcast about developing software and building businesses mostly without code. We have our listen now button. And then we also have our sections. So we have our about section as well as our contact section. And then I added a last section for listen and that's where our container is with our episodes. So now that we've walked through how to set up our card site, let's head over to member space to walk through setting up our account there. So I've already created this site, the no code dev podcast site in member space, but if I click edit site, this is the exact page that you'll see once you create a account with member space and add a new site. So we've entered in our website address, which is just the URL from card. You can find that URL right here. If we click into save, sorry. And at the bottom, the no code dev dot card dot co is our URL. So we've added in our URL, we've selected our platform and we've given the site a name. So we can click done there and we'll just click into our site. Awesome. So now we've set up a basic site in card and we've also created an account in member space. In the next video, we're going to add custom attributes to our member page, essentially just our listen section of our card site so that we can protect that section and our episode links so that only our members will be able to access that section of our site. In this video, we're going to create our member pages or essentially just create a login only section of our card site, that listen section, which has our podcast episodes. So within member space, we can see that they're letting us know that because card is a single page website builder, they don't really have pages, but we can use data attributes to show or hide different sections or different types of content within card. So let's click on using data attributes with card to open up the member space documentation. We're going to want to copy this attribute. So data MS show equals, we're going to edit this from free to auth. So we only want to show the content if the user is authorized. So let's copy this and we're going to head into card. And we'll navigate down to our listen section. 
to this container that holds all of our episodes. And in the settings, we're going to add this attribute. So we'll change free to off. So show this section if the user is authorized. And we'll save and publish. Okay, so because our site is pretty simple, we only have this single section to protect, we can move on to creating our member plan. So let's head back into member space. And we're going to go to the next setup step, which is going to be creating our member plans. So for our protected and private podcast, we actually just want to create a free membership plan. So by essentially providing an email address, we're going to give our users access to the podcast as well as some perks and giveaways and things like that. So it's a free membership, but it's essentially gated by creating a membership to listen to the podcast. So we're going to select free, no payment. This will be our free plan. We don't need an additional description. Uh, it won't expire. And after sign up, we want them to navigate to the listen section. Same with login. And we'll enable this plan and make it public. Great. So we have our member plan and now we can get that sign up link. So we can copy and we can paste this into our card site. So at the top here, I have a listen now button and we're going to duplicate this button. So we have listen now or let's do sign up. And the URL will copy in our member plan. So let's just switch positions there. We'll put the sign up above the listen now. We will save and publish. Okay, in the next video, we are going to add customization through member space to our card site by adding our embed code into card so that member space and card can communicate and everything will work as expected, as well as add our actual podcast episodes to those links so that our members can listen to episodes once they're logged in. You know, we created our free member plan for our private podcast, which we're hosting on card and protecting with member space. So now that that's been completed, let's click next setup step. And here is where we can customize some of the options through member space. So we can customize the look and feel of our sign up and log in pop-ups. So we can see here that this is what our users or our members will see when they log in. We can see what they will see as a pop-up when they sign up, as well as all of our other pop-ups. So what does that payment window look like? Um, what does their account look like? and you can save these changes, discard, reset to the default, whatever you need to do in here. We're going to keep everything as the default for now, but this is where we can customize those options. Under general options, we can also customize our member experience, relation options, and require a cancellation reason, for example. And we can also set our localization options as well as our notification options. So. When do we want to be notified? We want to be notified when a new member joins or when a member cancels. And you can edit these as needed and customize as you'd like. For now, we're just going to keep the defaults. So I'll click next setup step. And now we've been given our embed code. So Member space needs to communicate with card and this code is going to allow us to do that. So let's copy and we'll head back to card. And what we're going to do is add an embed element. 
we'll call this number space integration. And instead of inline, we're going to make it hidden and it's going to be a head tag. And we'll inject our code and click done. So now we can save and publish. And we'll click OK. So now if we go back to our live card site, in a previous video, we protected this container, this container with our episode links. So now we should not be able to see that container now that our embed code has been installed and we're not a user, we're not logged in, or we're not a member of the private podcast. So let's go to view site. And we can see already that our member login button, which is generated by default by member space is showing up now. And if I click sign up, there we go. So we have our pop-up that's expected. We'll cancel, we'll cancel this sign up. If I navigate to the about page, that's not protected. That's totally fine. Contact page, same thing. If we go back to home and we click listen now, those links are not there, right? Because we are not a user, we're not a member of the private podcast yet. So all that is protected content. So let's sign up as a free member. In this video, we're going to add the podcast episodes into member space the actual episode files and link those to cards so that they're protected from member space. So let's click go back here. And member pages, we'll click manage content links. And this is where we're going to add our podcast episodes. So we're going to click to upload or drag files. Great, so I've added in a couple of filler files of conversations as our first podcast episodes. So what we'll wanna do is edit access. So we have the title, we have our podcast guest, and we want to select which member plans get access to this episode. So our free plan is our only plan currently, but the great thing is if you do add plans later on, you could have essentially different tiers of member plans where maybe some episodes are exclusives to perhaps paid members. So we'll update now and we'll edit access again for each of these episodes. Great, we'll click done uploading. Great, and so now that our podcast episodes are in member space, we can copy the links to each one of those and paste them into card. So we'll go to our links here, episode one, and we'll paste that link into the URL. Episode two, we'll go back. And episode three. Great, we'll click done and we will save and publish the changes. Okay, if we go back to our site now and refresh. So we're still logged in and just a note, if I click the your account button, I can see that I have my free plan, I can view my plan details as well as edit my profile, change my password or log out from here. Now, if we go in and click any of these episodes as a logged in user, we should be able to download that episode. Great, there it is. There's our MP3 and we'll be able to open it up and play it as a member of the private podcast. Just to double check, let's hit your account and we'll log out. So now we're back to our homepage, we're logged out. Let's go to listen now and our links aren't there. Awesome, you've built a private podcast using card and member space. 
with functionality to keep specific episodes as private links, as well as different membership tiers so that members can have exclusive access to specific podcast episodes or access to all of them. We can't wait to see what you build next.